Hello, my name is Fig. I was created as a fruit bat hybrid for the project. Today is the day before I leave the labs. I am being sent out early in order to find my sister's and avocado. I hope to be reunited with them soon. Please wish me luck on my journey. Thank you. Hello? <laughs> Hello, everyone? Oh gosh, there's so many of you! <laughs> I'm so nervous! <laughs> I'm so scared! <laughs> oh god, okay, hello. Hello? <laughs> oh, thank you guys for all the follows! Oh god! No, no, it's too, it's too scared! It's too scared! It's too scary out there. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in the door jump scary. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm very scared. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the eats. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Hi everyone. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I should have turned off my redeems. Oh god. <laughs> no, it's funnier this way. Oh goodness. Hello everyone. Welcome to my lab. Oh, welcome Jess Girl. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Yeet. Oh gosh, hello everyone! Welcome, welcome to the debut rally! Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? Also, welcome Raiders! You guys came just in time! My name is Fig! <laughs> it's nice to meet you, I'm a fruit bat scientist! Let me experiment on you! <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Oh goodness gracious! I trust your science. You should! I'm a very ethical scientist. I only experiment when people say they want to be experimented on. Am I right? <laughs> I will let you experiment on me, yes! Hello, hello! <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. I'm so excited because I'm the first. The first of the Kiss VT debut rally. Tell us a science fact. Did you know that the Earth is round? I actually didn't know that till recently. I was told that uh, by the scientists that raised me. But we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into the lore. I didn't know that the Earth was round, okay? I thought it was like a flat, like, wasteland. I know! I know! It's so exciting! You guys didn't know that? Did you guys know that? I thought it was flat! But no, apparently it's a sphere! Do you goddamn, uh, what do you mean it's round and not a cube? I don't think it's a cube. I don't think the scientists would lie to me. Thought it was a pancake? Me too! Pancakes are so good! <laughs> the Earth is flat and hollow? I don't know if it can be both, but I thought I thought for the longest time it was just it was just a flat wasteland, a flat desert. But no, it turns out that the Earth is round. That's my fun science fact for today. Anyway, <laughs> I'm super excited to be here and I'm super excited to be uh, the starter for the Kiss VT debut rally. But the Earth was strawberry shaped. That would be exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Canceling fig on Twitter. No, don't cancel me on Twitter. I didn't know. I didn't know. I know it's round now. But yeah, uh, I wanted to show off my model because I I worked really hard on it. I was I'm the one who rigged it. I mean, brought myself to life. I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually showed off the model super closely, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna zoom out so y'all can see me in my entirety. Hello. Now I'm small. This is my like actual height as a fruit bat. Hello. Yeah, so I didn't draw the model my mama my model mama did, but I actually rigged it. So I wanted to show it off. I wanted to show off all the cool features that my mama put in and also that I rigged. Legs for free, yes. <laughs> But yeah, so we'll we'll start from the top. We'll start from the top. It's very important, okay? Um, it's very important. You see that I have a heart hairpin. This is my signature. 
This is my signature, all right? It's the heart hairpin. If you see a bat without a heart hairpin, that means it's not fig, okay? If you see a purple-haired bat with a heart hairpin, that means it's fig, all right? Don't quote me on that. If there's another bat out there with a heart hairpin... <laughs> Uh, then they're fig. That's the rule now. That's the rule now. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's not my birthday, but thank you. Doesn't Fug also wear the hairpin, though? Who's Fug? I don't know who Fug is. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that right now. Of course, very important. My little- my eyes. My shiny eyes. I can stare right into your guys' soul right now. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> it's your birthday. It's not my birthday! It's not my birthday. It's my debut day. <laughs> But yeah, I can see right into you guys right now. We're making eye contact. Oh, and of course I have fangies. It's very important because otherwise how would I eat fruit? Help. Help. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my head. That's my head. I also have these cute ears. I don't actually have human ears. I know that my, my starting soon screen has human ears, but I don't actually have human ears. I'm missing those. If I had four sets of ears, I could hear four four times as well, though. So it really makes you think what I'm missing out at. All right, for moving on, as you can see, I have my milk strawberry shirt. That's really cute. I got it from the scientist. Isn't it adorable? They found it. Hi, Cora. Oh, so cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and I have, of course, my bag, my trusty strawberry bag for my journeys. As you can see, I carry around all my syringes in it, so I can't lose this. It's very important. And of course I have wings. Please look respectfully, by the way. What? Well, please look respectfully, okay? I know, I know that, like, I'm, my wings are very precious and beautiful, but please look, please stare respectfully, okay? That's all I'm asking for you guys, all right? All right, so there's my wings. And then of course I have my cute jacket, which I wear like this because I was told by Chi that it's stylish, okay? It's stylish to wear your jacket off your shoulders like this. And of course I want to be stylish too. So this entire outfit is kind of inspired by Chi uh, because she's like a Gyaru or whatever that is, but um, I'm not a Gyaru, but I thought that her clothing was really cute. So I wanted, I wanted to have something like that. And then, of course, I have my skirt. And then I have my, my thigh. I have a lovely little, uh, very important note. They do jiggle. I rig that very carefully. Uh, but I have my little garter ring right there. No, I don't have bro broken wings. No, no, no. They're no, no. They're clean. They're 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 good wings. They're good wings. Of course. So I have my jiggly thighs. But it's okay. They're contained by my bracelet here. Looking respectfully. And then, of course, I have my shoes, which also wiggle. And I know that everybody wants to see feet pics, so here you are. Here's my feet. Look respectfully at them, okay? Aren't they cute feet? Look <laughs> Nice shoes. Thank you. Thank you. I know that everybody loves feet pics, so I'm very excited to show these to you. I don't understand why people want feet pics of bats, but here you go. If you want them, now's the time to screenshot them. <laughs> And then, like I showed earlier, I have my trigger that lets me put on, that lets me take out one of my syringes. This one gives you plus defense and plus evasion in case of emergency. <laughs> I have other ones too. I have ones that give you plus attack and plus intelligence, and uh, others that do other things depending on the species you are. But this one is my favorite. It's such a pretty purple. Yeah, you get buffs. <laughs> Stab me? No, no, no. It's just an injection. It's just a little syringy. It's fine. It, don't, it only hurts a teeny bit. It's just a little pinch. Which one has luck boost? That's my green one. But my purple one's my favorite because who doesn't want a defense stat? <laughs> Jab me? No, no, no. I'm not jabbing anybody today. All right. And then, of course, I have... Oop. <laughs> I have a peco. Ta da! <laughs> and of course, if I'm feeling sad, I can. I can cry. But nobody's gonna make me cry, right? Today's debut day, so you can't make me cry. No crying on debut day, though, right? That's the rule. 
<laughs> no crying for fig, that's right. Uh, and yeah, that's that's my bottle. What do you guys think? Aren't I cute? What do you talk about? <laughs> Death throw many things at Fig. Fig when I spend a hundred thousand Neo points. That's because everybody in chat told me to do it. Cruise Fruit Bad ever, thank you. Are tears of joy allowed? Tears of joy are allowed. I will allow tears of joy. If we want to say that these are tears of joy today, we can do that. Okay? <laughs> All right. So as much as everybody would love to keep staring at my... Oh, gosh! <laughs> no, no, no. We're not crying in the club. We're not crying in the club. We are being, we are being happy in the club because it's debut day. And we have a lot of debut to go through. Uh, so without further ado, I wanted to go ahead and show off some of my slides. I made slides, very exciting. I made like a PowerPoint presentation. So give me just one second. Get that pulled up. Ta-da! I have slides today. It's very exciting. Oh, geez. Thank you, everybody, for all the follows. All right, all right. So we're going to go through my slides. My name is Fig, but my stream is called Fig's Roost. Thank you, everybody, for the follows. Wow, thank you guys, everyone, so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, it's PowerPoint time. Oh, I'm going to let this... <laughs> All right. Yeah, my full name is F Fig. It's just Fig. It's not Fig Saroost. Everybody thinks it's Saroost, but it's it's just Fig. So I'm Fig's Roost on here on Twitch.tv because it's named after where I live, which is my roost. So the agenda for today, we're going to talk about who I am, my lore, my likes and dislikes, my favorites, what I stream, inspiration, goals, and credits. Saroos, no! What does the S stand for? It doesn't stand for anything. It just, it's just a little, it's, it's to say that I own it. It's to say that I own the roost. <laughs> Saroos fig, no! All right. Who am I? My name is Fig! As I said, it's not it's not Fig Saroost, it's just Fig. It's just Fig, but Fig on Twitch was taken, so I had to go with the next best thing, which is Fig's Roost. My pronouns are she, her. Uh, my age, you don't need to know a fruit spat's age, but you do you can know that I'm in my 20s. But apart from that, you don't need to know, okay? It's a secret. It's a secret. The scientists didn't even celebrate my birthday except for the one, so who cares, right? Uh, but just in case you are curious, my birthday is January 1st, which is New Year's. I don't know if that's my actual birthday or just the day that they wrote down for my birthday, but that's what I celebrate it. And that makes me a Capricorn, according to the magazines that I've read. Uh, my height is 4'10", but I'm not that short. Don't call me short, okay? I'm like, I'm, I'm small, but I'm average fruit bat size, okay? You know, I'm the, I'm the tallest of my siblings. Did you know that? Did you know that I'm the tallest of my siblings? Mango only came up to my shoulder. Did you know that? She was really short, so don't call me short, okay? I'm average fig size, that's right. So I'm a fruit bat from a future Earth. I have two sisters named Mango and Avocado, and the scientists think that they're deceased, but I don't think they are. I think that they're still out there. Uh, my scientist friend who took care of us when we were little uh, felt really bad for me because basically what they were doing was creating pollinator hybrids so that they could have pollinators that could survive out in the wild after they destroyed the planet. So I come from that because if you didn't know, fruit bats are actually really important uh, pollinators. So basically, uh, my sisters went missing and my scientist friend, since I was the youngest, felt bad for me. So she put me in a time machine and that they were working on to try and return back to uh, before things were, uh, to quote them, up shit creek. Um, so, but instead of sending me back in time, it kind of hopped dimensions. And that's how I ended up on this earth with uh, people with animal ears, which isn't how my earth was. My earth, I'm like artificially born, okay? I'm artificially born, but I like to say I'm from the future. I don't actually know if I'm actually from the future or not, but considering the technology that we have at the cafe, I'm, I like to say I'm from the future. 
but yeah, I've, you know, it's kind of like if you've seen the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, you know how Sonic has to keep running and running and he uses like those special rings to like top planets and he ends up on Earth. It's kind of like that, you know, I saw that movie once I was shown it and I was like, wow, that would be really cool to be able to hop worlds. And then it ended up happening. So, you know, that's exciting. Anyway, experimentation is totally cool. Yeah, like Sonic has to keep running or he'll explode. Yeah, exactly. I love Sonic. I love Sonic the Hedgehog so much. I think it's like such a cool series. I, I want to go fast just like Sonic. Especially the movie. The movie Sonic is so cool. I love that he like just gets adopted. I wish that could happen. Like the scientists were like, hey, that's like you and me because you're like a bat and I'm like a human. And I was like, oh, that's super cool. So basically, Sonic and me are the same person, and that's why I want to go really fast all the time. But unfortunately, I'm a fruit bat and not a hedgehog. If I was a hedgehog, I think that I could go fast. At least I think so. I haven't actually met a hedgehog before. Um, experimentation is super cool as long as like people are into it. So I've only experimented on two of my friends so far, um, Frixie and Rosie, but I don't want to spoil what that th those did to them, and I'm going to let them actually talk about it. Uh, this is the thing with going first, is I can't really go into a bunch of details. <laughs> fake the Hedgehog. Yeah, fake Sonic. Maybe the S in Ceruse stands for Sonic. I think that that would be exciting. Oh, actually, can we make that canon? Can we make that part of my lore? It's that the S stands for Sonic, so it's actually Fig Sonic Roost. I think that that would be exciting. Uh, let's see. But basically experimenting on already existing hybrids, like, is really different than hybrids that are born as hybrids or born through experimentation. So I really want to do more of it, and I hope that my friends let me do it more. My likes and dislikes. So I like a lot of things. I like more things than I dislike. I love strawberries. I think strawberries are the best fruit known to man. I think that they are so good and so delicious. And I have always thought it was a special treat when the scientists brought me some. Uh, I love I, I don't like melons, though. I like watermelons, but not most watermelons. I do eat fruit. I'm a fruit bat. I don't like cantaloupes and melons like that, but I think watermelon can stay. Watermelon is OK. Um, science experiments, obviously. I mean, look at me, I am a science experiment. If science experiments didn't exist, I wouldn't exist. And that's pretty cool. If you think about how much science has done for us. <laughs> why is everybody ex think that- why is everybody so surprised that I eat fruit? I'm a fruit bat. Come on now. <laughs> uh, I hate pollution. Pollution is really stinky and it's what made the world a wasteland before in my, my old world. So I don't want it to happen to this world either, okay? Fruit slaps. Exactly. No, I don't. I don't dislike fruit. I just dislike melons. Every other fruit is fine. You know what really is good? Grapes. And I should have added grapes to my slideshow because grapes rule. They're just like, they're almost strawberry tier. Um, I really like my fellow bats. I think that we all deserve more love than we get. People are scared of us for some reason, but we're actually just really chilled. I mean, don't touch us because we have rabies, but I mean, apart from that, we're really cool. Yeah, we're fruit enjoyers here. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, respect bats. We are very important pollinators to the ecosystem. Is rabies what's in the syringes? No, 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 no. I only give rabies if I bite someone or if somebody touches me funny. It's very important. Um, I dislike vampires who pretend to be bats. Okay, this is very annoying. Ever since I've shown up to this world, I've seen a lot of vampires pretending to be bats. And I'm like, you guys are vampires. You can just be vampires, okay? You don't have to pretend... Thank you for the network jumps here. You don't have to pretend to be bats, okay? Because you guys are already cool. Everybody already thinks you're cool and sexy. Let the bats be the bats and the vampires be vampires. Um, I also like PS2 games. I got to play a lot of them as, as a kid, as a kid when I was in the lab because the scientists snuck in a PS2 because that was the only console they still had. And I don't know how it still worked. I don't I did ask that question, but it was like an ancient, ancient thing. It was an ancient, ancient machine. And it still worked because I guess that they said that machines from back then were just kind of quote unquote built different. Um, and I don't know what exactly that means, but uh, I believe them because it still worked. Uh, and to go with that, I really like Drakengard. Drakengard is, like, really cool. 
And we'll talk more about Drakengard in a little bit. <laughs> uh, I really like anime a lot. Um, I love watching new anime. I think that that's probably my favorite thing to do in my off time at the cafe. Um, and I really like Arcwave Brunstead, who is a vampire, but the difference is she doesn't pretend to be a bat. So she gets a pass, okay? She's a, she's a vampire princess, and she's super cool and hot, and uh, honestly, hashtag play Tsukihime, am I right? Just play Tsukihime. <laughs> Which Yoko Taro timeline are we in? I don't know. I don't I don't know. Maybe we're in the Drakengard timeline. I don't think so. There's no flying babies everywhere. Uh, other things I dislike, I dislike bad H games. I think that I think that if H games are gonna be a thing, they either need to be really good or like really funny. And so bad H games that just waste my time are like they're like not they're not worth it okay like at least at least make my time worth it you know fig is the flying baby i'm not a flying baby i'm a bat i'm a bat see my wings the fly babies only have electric wings uh my favorites so my favorites are for anime i love all idol anime pretty much i like zombie land saga i like love live um, I like Oshinoko, which is new, but I've read the manga and it's really, really good. Um, I'm pretty much any idol anime. I really like how they, like, really have to work hard for their goals and, like, they manage to always beat out at the odds at the end, but it still shows, like, the rise and fall of them, and I think that that's really inspiring. Oshinoko is a little different because it's not quite like that, but I still really like it. Um, I like Silver Spoon and Full Metal Alchemist. I think that they're both really, really good. They're by the same author. If you, I'm sure everybody's heard of Full Metal Alchemist, uh, because of course, like it's the best anime ever. <laughs> Am I right? It's it's like the highest rated anime still. Um, but if you haven't heard of Silver Spoon, you should definitely uh, watch and read it because it's about a boy from the city who goes to farm school. One day you'll watch Full Metal Alchemist. How can you not watch Full Metal Alchemist? You gotta watch Full Metal Alchemist. It's it's such a good anime. Uh, then we have Chainsaw Man. I think that Chainsaw Man is really, really good. Um, <laughs> I mean, duh. Like, I don't want to say too much about it, but I basically ended up binge reading it the entirety of part one in like two nights because I just got so into it that I needed to know where it was going. I think that that's super important. Um, so it, it deserved to be on this list because I've never been read in manga harder. Well, at least not since I was really little. Or not really little, but like, you know, in high school when I actually had free time. Like this was when I was still working and everything that I managed to binge read it in two days. Like that's how into it I got. Uh, I put Ranking of Kings on here because I'm currently watching through it and it is so good. If you haven't watched Ranking of Kings, you should absolutely watch Ranking of Kings. I want to read it next, but I'm currently watching it and I was like, this is so good that it's going on my favorites even though I haven't finished it. So unless like the ending really, really sucks, it's probably going to stay up there. Alright, my favorite games. I love Final Fantasy. I love the Final Fantasy series. I played a ton of them. I haven't played all of them. Um, but my favorites are 10, 10, 2, 6, 7, and 14. And I know 14, am I right? But um, <laughs> uh, I actually met a lot of people in Kiss BT through F Final Fantasy 14. And I really enjoyed the story. And I'm currently on break from it right now because I got a bit burnt out. But, uh, I really, the Final Fantasy series holds a really special place in my heart. Final FNAF. Uh, I like Nier. I love the Draconeer series. I mean, I mentioned Drakengard on my last slide, so I have to mention Nier here. I don't actually know if it has a capital R anymore. Does anybody know if Nier still has a capital R, or was that just like the Xbox version? Because I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm spelling it like this because I really like Nier Gestalt. It's my favorite one of the two Niers. Uh, he still forces the subject. Okay, One Chanvara. If you haven't heard of One Chanvara, that means you're normal. Uh, but basically, it's an old PS2 game, shovelware budget game that was called Zombie Hunters over in the West. And, um, <laughs> 
yeah, it's not good. It's not a good series, but it is a lot of fun and it's very schlocky and B-movie. It's about this big sister sword fighter who like fights in a bikini and has to like um defeat zombies in order to fight her sister and kill her sister. Um, honestly, I speedrun it. I don't know if I'd actually recommend it to most people, but it's it's really good in like a bad way. Um, Tsukihime, Fate, in the Nasuverse, and Ryukishi 07 works, and also just a lot of visual novels in general. I think that they're like really good. I think that the Nasuverse is probably one of my favorite pieces of media of all time. Um, especially Tsukihime and Fates and Fate Hollow Anoroxia, they both have a very special place in my heart. And I know that these are like the basic bitch answers of like visual novels when people are like, oh, you like visual novels? What do you like? But I think that there's a reason that they are that. And uh, because of that, I wanted to include them. And currently I'm reading a visual novel called uh, Please Be Happy, which is a Yuri visual novel by Studio Elon, and it's so good so far. So I highly recommend anything by them as well, if you like Yuri. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei! Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne is like one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time, not including any visual novels. Uh, so of course I have to put it up here. I love how like hard these games are. And they're like so fun. I want to learn how to speedrun them, except that I'm pretty sure I'd get my balls busted. <laughs> yeah, of course I like Love Live. I love Love Live. I wailed super hard in Love Live <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne would never take advantage of our innate gullibility. Love Live. Love Live is so good. I should have put that under games as well, but I really like the rhythm games and also the, the anime and also the manga. Uh, Persona 2 is my favorite Persona game. I know that that's like a classic answer and people are going to be like, wait, are you like a boomer or something? But no, I like all of them. I like every single Persona, but Persona 2 just holds a special place in my heart. It taught me what gay people were. That's a joke, by the way. Please don't click that out of context. <laughs> it told me that gay people were real. <laughs> Elders, <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Um, I think that. I think that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing at my own joke. Um, Elder Scrolls, I mean, duh, like, who doesn't love Elder Scrolls? I've had way too many hours in all those games, so I don't know if I'll ever stream them, but, uh, <laughs> I do love them. Uh, Princess Maker and Raising Sims, I do want to play these on stream. Uh, I actually speedrun Princess Maker, and before you're like, how do you speedrun Princess Maker? Um, it's not very fun to watch, but people for some reason do anyway. It's basically a lot of very fast menuing. But yeah, I want to play one. There's a new one out called Volcano Princess, and I want that one. I want to play that one on stream. Uh, and then as far as foods, we got cheesecake, strawberries, and then of course strawberry cheesecake. Very important. We got Korean barbecue, hot pot, chocolate, and most sweets. So this is where I get to talk about Drakengard. So I'm pretty sure Drakengard on my old planet, like on my old Earth, was like a super important and like really like religious symbol for like the people there because my my scientist was like super obsessed with it and he was like able to tell me the lore. He told me the lore like every night at bedtime and it's very important. Um, so I really like Angelus who is the red dragon and she is like so cool and like the fact that she can talk for time and the fact that like in ending scene I don't want to spoil anymore never mind I'm not going to spoil more lore but anyway if you haven't read if you haven't read Drakengard was your scientist name Ron? Uh, I don't remember my scientist name but it was a girl <laughs> anyway Drakengard really does deserve its own slide because it's very special to me and also Angelus is super cool and hot and I wish I was her I mean look at this look at the look at her she is so attractive What I stream. So basically I'm going to start streaming some more retro games, some PS2 games, Wii games, and old PC games. And I know Wii games, they don't seem like they'd be retro, but they're actually considered retro now for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, I grew up playing PS2 and Wii games and old PC games, so I kind of want to revisit a lot of them. And I want to and I want to maybe learn to speedrun some of them. 
Uh, and I want to also play some web games like Neopets, which I've already been streaming, Flash game archives, and cool math games. Why did PS2 become retro? It's very old now. I also want to do the PSX. Coolmathgames.com. Yeah, did you know it's still around? I didn't know it was still around until recently. Um, but yeah, so like Neopets, Flash Game Archives, Cool Math Games. And then of course I do speedrunning because like I said, I want to be fast like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Uh, what I mainly speedrun, I mainly speedrun Drakengard. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a Drakengard 3 speedrun this upcoming week on Monday. Um, I still need to learn Drakengard 2. Yeah, I know, Wii games are retro now. I'm sorry that people had to find out this way. Um, Onechanbara I speedrun, and I want to actually learn the speedrun for Onechanbara Origins as well. Um, and I want to speedrun more old PS2 games that nobody cares about, like the Neopets, uh, the Darkest Fairy game. <laughs> And then Princess Maker, I, I mentioned before that I speedrun. And then other. Just chatting. I want to improve it by just chatting. That's like a major goal of mine, but I want to do more of them because I really enjoy talking with people. Uh, games with chat, I really enjoy playing like guard tick and words with words on stream, things like that. Um, art. I, I draw. I know this might be shocking to people who have been following me for a while because I don't post art that often, but I do draw. I have an art degree um, from Bat College. So maybe I'll do some more art on stream. Uh, more karaoke? I did a karaoke stream. I've done two karaoke streams, and I kind of want to do more. They're kind of addictive, and I'm not very confident in my karaoke ability, but they're really fun, so I want to do some more. Um, some of my streaming inspirations. Oh, this is embarrassing because Cora's actually here. <laughs> um... But I have a lot of VTubers here, but I also have Flygon HD and uh, Jaded Animations because I really like how they take their streaming content and turn it into YouTube videos. Um, and then these guys, uh, I just think that they interact with their chat super well. And <laughs> oh, Jaden is a VTuber. I forgot. Yeah, actually, there's only one non VTuber on here. Um, but the way that they interact with chat is really good. Um, and I want to be able to do that more. I want to be able to interact more with chat like they can. So, yeah. Uh, my musical inspirations are Canaria, Imer, and Riona. I think that I've covered two Canaria songs two, uh, and a Riona song. I haven't covered an Imer song yet, but that's like kind of scary. <laughs> I think that she's really good. But, uh,. I think that Canaria's music is really awesome, and I think that if I have an original song, I want it to sound like a Canaria song. Speaking of which, some of my goals. I want to have an original song out this year. And this is like, this is this is goals for this year, not like just in general. I think that also I would like to become Twitch partner at some point and YouTube partner, but I don't know if those are goals for this year. So um, what some of my goals are an original song, um, and I'm already kind of working on that behind the scenes a little bit, so I'm very excited for that to happen. Um, improving my singing. Um, I want to stream, like, I mean, just in general, this is like just a life improvement goal. And I take vocal lessons now, and I think that I've already come a long way. So, uh, I want to learn to stream more. Like, I want to learn to, I want to stream more and I want to stream for longer, because I'm not, my stream endurance isn't super great. Um, yeah, and I want it to be a lot longer and more powerful. And then, <laughs> uh, I want to make more friends. I want to make more friends and I want to, uh, and I want to do more collabs. And then my credits, uh, my 2D mama or my model art is by Ame Tomea, uh, on Twitter and she's, She's on Schema, so go ahead and check out her artwork on Pixiv, Schema, and Twitter. And then the rig is by me. I did the rig. Um, and then special thanks to KissVT for taking me on and uh, <laughs> I guess giving me a chance on this. And then uh, you guys in chat. Um, I'm very excited that everybody is here and yeah.
I I don't know. I'm I'm really nervous and anxious, but you guys made it feel a lot better. So thank you very much, guys. <laughs> and thank you. That's the end of my slides. Um. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's all from me. Um. I hope you guys are excited for the rest of the Kiss VT debuts today. We're actually going to go to Goma next. I think that they're probably already up and live pretty soon. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started and in raiding into them. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to my debut. I'm, I was really nervous and um, you guys, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry on stream. I'm not going to cry on stream. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but. Thank you guys, we've been working really hard. Cry? I don't want to cry on stream. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get... Get us set up. Goma is next. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. We're gonna go ahead and raid into worm tubing. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Holy moly. There are so many people here. <laughs> oh, thank you for the tech work raid. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your debut day.